So when you encounter problems in life, sometimes it's best to attack them with a direct approach. But other times it's best to take an indirect approach to try to solve that problem. Well, behavior assessment is exactly the same way. Hi, I'm Dr. Igor Yurichevich, and this is Functional Analysis of Behavior 1. Let's go. Okay, so today we're going to begin our look at selecting and defining target behaviors. And what we're going to focus on today is behavioral assessment. So behavioral assessment is the procedure that we use in functional analysis of behavior to both choose a target behavior and also identify what causes that target behavior. So that's the principal goal. That second part is the principal goal of behavior assessment, the identification of environmental variables that are related to either increases or decreases in a target behavior. And a very succinct way of putting what the purpose of behavioral assessment is came to us from Linehan in 1977, where they said that the purpose of behavioral assessment is to figure out what is the client's problem and how do we change it for the better. So that is always the final goal. We want to identify what is the client's problem, and then we want to use the techniques of functional analysis of behavior to figure out how do we change that client's problem to make their lives better. Now we're going to look at two forms of behavioral assessment, the two general forms of behavioral assessment, which are indirect assessment and direct assessment. So let's start with indirect assessment, where we assess behavior without actually observing the target behavior. So we're assessing a target behavior, but we're not actually directly observing that target behavior, hence indirect assessment. And an example of indirect assessment is the interview. So you can interview the client about their particular problem behavior. You could interview significant others related to the client, such as parents, families, people that they interact with, such as teachers and coworkers, you're interviewing people about a particular behavior without directly observing that behavior. So it's important information. It's an assessment technique. However, it is done without actually directly observing the behavior, in this case through interviews with either the client or people that interact with them in a significant way. And to aid in these interviews, they do have various tools that applied behavior analysis use. One of them, for example, is the Functional Assessment Checklist for Teachers and Staff, which is the FACTS. And this, again, is a tool to help standardize these interviews to assist the person doing the assessment in conducting a thorough, in this case, indirect assessment. On the other hand, direct assessment are the assessment techniques where the behavior is actually observed directly. This is the assessment technique where the assessor actually gets to see what the behavior is, actually gets to observe the behavior in its natural environment. And there are various tools that you can use to assist in direct assessment. So some of these tools are standardized tests. And it's very important to remember when you're doing direct assessment that you need to observe the actual behavior that you are assessing. This is a direct observation. So if you're going to use a standardized test, like the Stanford Achievement Test, make sure that the standardized test actually performs the behavior that you're looking for. So for example, if you wanted to directly assess math behavior, something like the Stanford Achievement Test would be an excellent tool because you actually have to do that behavior math to produce the final product, the actual answers to the test. So it's a direct observation of that particular behavior. And of course, the gold standard of direct assessment is actually direct observation. This is where you actually observe the behavior occurring in its natural environment. And direct observation can be very difficult sometimes. Uh, behavior happens a lot in a natural environment. There are tons of things to go on. So there are also tools that have been developed to assist in direct observation. One of those tools is the method of ABC observation. This is also known as anecdotal observation. And anecdotal observation or ABC recording is where you record the antecedents, the behavior, and the consequences. So for any target behavior, you record the antecedents, what happened before that triggered or caused 
the target behavior, you then record the behavior, what was the actual behavior that occurred, and then you record the consequences, what happened to that behavior. And in this case, we're not attempting to change the behavior yet, we're just assessing it, we're just taking a look at what the actual behavior is, and these types of tools are there to assist us in recording that and making those direct observations. All right, so that is uh, it for today's look at uh, assessment. Again, we took a look at the purpose of assessment to identify those environmental variables, either increase or decrease the target behavior, and to determine what is the client's problem and how do we change it for the better. And we took a look at indirect observation, sorry, indirect assessment techniques where you do not directly observe the behavior, but use other means of assessing the target behavior. And then we also looked at direct assessment techniques where you actually do observe the target behavior directly. And again, some of the tools that we use in those, uh, in those uh, instances. So that's it for today. Be sure to join me next time when we continue our look at assessing behavior and we ask ourselves, how do we know which behaviors to choose? So now that we know how to assess behaviors, once those behaviors are assessed, how do we know which one of those should we choose? Also known as how do we assess the social significance of a behavior? But for today, that is it. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time. Stay frosty, stay functional. Here we go. So when you encounter problems in life, 